TV toilet and Nutella. Don't mind me, guys. I was just sticking out my gut for the Rizzler because I'm so skibbity. Now, if you understood a single word of what I said, congratulations, you're as brain dead as everybody else. Kids content has gone so absolutely goddamn insane. It, it, this is some mind numbing, brain rotting degenerate stuff. Fair warning here, if your IQ is above five and you wanna keep it that way, click off this video. All right, whatever pays the bills, bro. Skibbity toilet and Nutella. <laughs> TV man. <laughs> yes, yes, speaker man. <laughs> Titan speaker man. <laughs> what is going on? What am I watching? Oh my god. What happened to Tom and Jerry, guys? What happened to Tom and Jerry? That's what I grew up with. It was it was it was a cat and a mouse. And it was, it was like, they were like, I don't know, hitting each other. Jerry kept getting away. Tom was kind of cool. Like he was, he was like the Sigma there. I mean, he kept getting made fun of, but we all knew he was, he was a mature cat. And now we got skibbity, skibbity toilet, uh, dipped in Nutella with this flipping dude wearing a Pikachu hat. Thanks for destroying Pokemon once again with his fake buck teeth. I don't know what you're doing here, dude. What the hell is wrong with you? I get, I, I get, I get paying the bills, man. I really get it. But really, is this the only thing you could have resorted to? Do you have no other talents in your arsenal as a human being? In your 55 years of living? Okay, he looks like, I don't know, 30. In your 30 years of living, have you not cultivated any talent other than this? Jesus Christ, man. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Why are you dipping it in Nutella? I don't understand this. I like Nutella, but I mean like... Tonight we're gonna make Snickers? my favorite dish. Let's start. First we take a bunch of jelly eggs and jelly teeth. Add a handful of M&M's candy. A couple of cans. His voice makes me want to squeeze a cat. Till it pops. Nutella? Six lollipops. A fictional chocolate. fluffy cat, Rainbow of course. Chewing gum. One Snickers. Piece of giant. You didn't. You didn't even open the Snickers, dog. Are you gonna cook it in front of the pot? Oh my god. Two things. Now we mix it up. All this. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Um, what? Ladybug toys. <laughs> bon appetit. Wait a minute, fella. What? I probably shouldn't have paused it there, but wait a minute. The ingredients you put into that bowl didn't actually turn into that. Well, actually, I caught you there doing some editing magic. You see, I'm you see, my IQ is already dropped below zero because I pointed that out. Now, why are you eating ladybug fella there? What the f are you doing? You ate her head? I, I'm scared to actually go to this TikTok, so I'm just not gonna do it. I'm just not gonna do it. Like, I'm sitting at a negative five IQ already, but neg I, I feel like I'll push it too far. Maybe my brain will actually explode. I really fear for like the parents of today because imagine leaving your kid with this phone thinking, thinking, hey, how, how bad can the internet be? He's just on TikTok. Isn't that like a kid's app or something? And and the, and he's blasted with this type of shit, man. Even even the mind-numbing tunes of Baby Shark would be better than this shit, man. Jesus Christ! I bet he makes a buttload of money. I mean, if he bet, I don't know if he's on YouTube or something. He ain't making shit on TikTok, that's for sure. Coco melon type brain rot, that's for sure. Also, this buttload of money is basically blood money. That's what I'm considering it. This video is probably the strongest argument for the gulag. I feel like I've been assaulted by the sight of this. Oh, of course, we got some defenders here. You idiots berate people earning a legit living, but glorify crime and criminals. Well, I'm not glorifying that. Let's see the responses to this. This is the furthest thing from legitimate living. Your average modern Western man. This is this is how the kids are gonna grow up. Like, I imagine if you grow up watching this type of content, there is no hope for you. Like, it's like, this is a level beyond the iPad kid. This is the TikTok adult type of kid. You can criticize Zoomer men for many things, but this is the average millennial man. Hipster who's obsessed with 1980s, 1990s kids nostalgia. Stretch earlobe piercings are the mark of the beast. I don't, like, 
I don't think this is 1990s kids nostalgia. Skibbity toilet is a very new thing, okay? I didn't even know what's going on. I, I went on that channel again, and it's got like 30 million views per video. I have no idea. Like, how are parents even okay with their kids watching that? I thought they'd want some like wholesome thing, but it's flipping toilets, battling with robots, with exploding shit, with borderline horror type videos. I don't think like babies are watching that, are they? I don't know. Anytime I see these YouTube kids type videos, my mind always goes back to what this guy says. Other people with waffles. Perfect. Oh, it's the flipping perfect guy. How do you feel 10 seconds after recording that TikTok? Probably not very good. The cameras aren't rolling. Well, it's just you, alone, <laughs> surrounded by syrup. This guy's reaching into his soul. Is it you? You wipe the countertop, scrub it hard, I presume. <laughs> and all that on the floor, you get on your- Bro, he's not blinking. This guy, has he blinked once? He's not blinked once. Presume. And all that on the floor, do you get on your hands and knees on all fours and wipe endlessly? <laughs> Probably Bow pay down, someone to do it. Like you're worshiping some god. One who certainly doesn't look kindly on you. And when you try to get up from those impossibly sticky floors, does your body stay <laughs> as if trapped in hell? Oh my god. I hope so. That, that dude, that dude is part of a satanic cult or something. Holy shit, bro. He reached into his soul and crushed his, crushed it from within. Oh my God. Do not be beefing with this guy. But dude, it's not even a debate at this point. This type of kid's content is actually just harmful. It's literally just making kids stupider and stupider and stupider. And I feel like uh, it's not it's not a matter of chasing the bag anymore. You're legitimately causing harm to society over here, dude. You're you're brain rotting the children and our future, dude. God damn. If there was any hope for immortal life or, I don't know, reaching other planets and, I, I don't know, f expanding from Earth, our hope would be the new generation, but you're kind of taking that away. Basically, basically, guys, with my actual hypothesis here, that man is destroying humanity. <laughs> that's how, that's what I've concluded there. Definitely not a leap in logic at all. If you find a kid watching this, it's over for them. Them neurons are fried to a crisp. They don't have ADHD. <laughs> they have 84K. Classic. Classic. I mean, at this point, you'd struggle to find a kid who doesn't have ADHD, honestly, because if this is the type of content you're being subjected to on a daily basis that is going to form the routine of your habits as well and i can't imagine being this guy you know and going up to my mom she she asked me like what do you do for work and you you show her this type of fucking garbage bro i would i would disown you i would i would throw you out on the streets bro oh my god further proof that tiktok is a psychological weapon i actually do agree what the frick is wrong with parents how hard is it to distract your kid with like spongebob bro spongebob or samurai jack instead of whatever this is bro my childhood i can say my childhood this, like uh, i know i know like nostalgia is clouded by your uh mind's tendency to remember the good things in life and not the bad things so i'm sure there were like bad moments of my childhood i i hated studying and shit like that but as I remember remember it, my childhood was freaking flipping amazing because of all the TV shows I'd watch. SpongeBob, a freaking classic. I've memorized flipping every single episode, even some of the newer seasons. All right, goddamn. I know people don't like those, but now now it really sucks. But you know, eh, you know, past three and there was like four and five that were kind of decent or whatever. Samurai Jack was uh, gave me nightmares. That show was kind of scary, bro. Uh, Apuk or whatever the. F his name was goddamn what other epic shows were there man i watched a ton of uh, cartoon network a ton of nickelodeon and a ton of disney channel cartoon network there was uh teen titans that was one of the best shows i don't know where avatar the legend of ang was was that nickelodeon i don't know watched that a bunch nickelodeon had spongebob had uh fairly odd parents uh danny phantom shit like that that was just really cool then uh, Disney Channel. I don't know what, what I watched. I watched a bunch of like mediocre shows that I thought were really good. I watched like Super Strikers, which was like a football show or something. I don't know. There's like Wizards of Waverly Place or something. There was Kicking It. Kicking It was really cool. It was like this uh, 
karate kung fu type show or some shit. And it was, it was more about like friends and making value and shit. Anyways, it wasn't this flipping brain rot, okay? God damn. And I know that's like a more older audience, right? That's like 10 to 13 or 10 to 15 years old. But even for the kids content, it wasn't really this bad. It was, um, what, what like utter kids content did I watch? I think it was, I think it was just shit like Ed, Ed and Eddie and, uh, cow and chicken and uh backyard it was like backyard scientist is that a youtuber i don't even know i'm mixing shit up now oh yeah there was megas xlr that was a absolute banger show as well that you'd have to be pretty old to know that as well to call this children's content is really insulting to all children's media and every child on earth this isn't made for anyone it's anti-content Pointless colors and stupid noises. This is nuclear <laughs> radiation in video form. And I don't know why creators have completely given up thinking that the only type of content that kids will watch is this type of skibbity garbage dipped in Nutella. Like, I'm pretty sure you can entertain even toddlers with genuine, like, I don't know, conversational uh, sort of content. There was like, I don't know, I was talking about that one show, Bluey or something, that was sort of wholesome and something, and it was like a kid show that even uh, adults could watch as well. I feel like they're just taking the easy route to views and money and, and success or whatever, but there's, there's got to be a better way to do it, man. The adults who create this genre of hypersaturated, mind-numbing garbage content are very insidious because they're basically <laughs> earning a living off of making children completely. I feel like a lot of parents think that when kids are like toddlers, right, like really small, their brain can't understand a bunch of stuff. So if you if you feed them with this sort of constant stimulation, they're not going to remember any of it. It's not going to impact their brain capacity or anything like that. But I strongly disagree. I feel like you can definitely you're, you're built the second you're i don't know from out of the womb or whatever you're like your every single experience is new and if this is the first thing you're sort of training them to enjoy this sort of extra hyper dopamine environment which could affect them in their old age as well and i don't know build uh, bad habits as well maybe maybe i'm making a loose connection here but i don't know i think it's that way uh let me know what you guys thought uh click this video i'll see you guys later and merry christmas Bye bye